Hello everyone. Today we're going to show you how to set up your PC with the Silver Turbos ECU editor and the flashing apps. Um, this video pertains mainly for the new TPI bikes, KTM, Husqvarna, and Gas Gas. So first things first, you need a Windows-based PC with uh, Windows 10 installed. To get the flashing apps, you need to go to silverturbos.com and then go to this remote reflash page. And you want to follow the instructions on this page. This is going to allow you to get the payment ID, which will be used to activate your flashing accounts. Step two, you need to download the drivers, the V1 and the V2 flasher. Make sure when you download these, you actually go to your downloads folder, find them and install them to your computer. And then anytime you want to flash a machine, you need to request a license to do that. So once you request a license for a particular machine, say your 2020 300 TPI, and you flash that machine, you actually do not have to request a license again. That VIN number and bike will be stored to your laptop and you can go in and flash that machine anytime. So, pretty straightforward process. If you have any questions about installing it, there is a video that shows you how to install the apps and activate everything. And feel free to give us a call if you have any questions. If you want the editor, we have that actually under the KTM page. That's at the bottom of this page right now, right there, the Silver Turbo ECU Editor. Again, click on that, download it, install your computer. When you install the editor, you have to request a new payment ID to activate your editor. So you can use the process again on the remote reflash page, requesting a payment ID, or send us an email, say you downloaded the editor and need to activate it, and we'll send you over a code to activate that. So once everything's installed, this is what the editor looks like when it's opened up. So file menu. So you can open a file. I'll just show you that quick. Here's a VIN number two of the bike that I've been flashing. It's a 300 TPI. This is a 2020 model. have the option to save your maps when you edit them. So you can save the file, you can export it for dealer. So say you're a tuner and you build performance maps and want to send them to someone else to flash, you'd want to export it as a dealer because that'll keep your file encrypted and no one else will be able to open that file and see the changes you made. They would be able to flash to ECU if they purchase a license from you or us. Um, but again, they would not be able to see the changes you made within the map. If you want to do changes and share it, make it public, you can use the share selected file and that'll export the map in a version that's not encrypted so the user could go and use a Silver Turbo editor to make their own changes on top of a map that's already been edited. So pretty cool for the community. So if we can get a lot of map sharing, we'll have a database on our website of maps that you know we offer. And you guys at home, if you create a map and want to share it, you're more than welcome to do that too. So, ECU operations. This is where you go if you're flashing an ECU for the first time. Use a registered new ECU. So we'll just go and do that quick. I'm going to demonstrate that on another 2020 TPI bike. So we'll click register new ECU. And click the KTM TPI. Um, and you'll use the KTM TPI, whether it's a Husqvarna, Gas Gas, whatever. So once you get that, click OK. And then select exactly which model you have. So right now we're working with a 2020 300. At this point, Make sure you hook up your cable, so USB 
to your flashing box, flashing cord to the diagnostic port on the bike. Um, there is a little alligator clip off of the diagnostic cord or flashing cord, and that gets used to clip to the 12 volt battery. Once you do that, click OK. And it says I have a valid ECU license for this ECU. Click OK. And it'll go ahead and flash the ECU the first time. Once this process is done, you'll be able to open that file, edit it, save it, flash it as many times as you'd like. Keep in mind, anytime you're working with this software or flashing the ECUs, whether it's with the editor or the V1 or V2 flasher, you do need internet connection. You can hotspot off a phone or, again, just a landline internet connection. So, ECU's done flashing. Click OK. And we'll go and open that file. All right, got the 202300 map opened up. Just show you some of the maps you'll have access to. And again, as we get further into these ECUs, um, we'll update the definition files and allow more access to different maps with inside the ECU to adjust. But right now, we got the basics to get basically anything you need done. You know, if you change a pipe, do a different cylinder head, whatever you do and polish you'll be able to custom the ECU mapping to fit the characteristics of your engine so here just fuel maps for the hard and the soft setting so if you have the map switch or just plug the cable in underneath the gas tank you can edit both the hard and the soft map for the fuel so these are RPM versus TPS. Um, right now, we got to go and do some cleaning up. So some of the the values don't really make sense here. But basically, zero to 100% throttle. Again, within the next few days, we'll have all these cleaned up. The soft, basically the same thing. You can view them in a graph mode. Just a main fuel TPS map. And this overlays both the hard and the soft map. So, ignition maps. So, ignition timing. Have just base ignition timing map. Again, you have that in the hard and the soft. In another ignition offset map limiters so fuel limiters 11,000 rpm you can raise or lower these and the oil pump system so this is going to be the amount of oil that's injected into the engine with the electronic oil pump obviously the higher the number the more oil output the lower the number the lesser of the oil so pretty easy i'm just going to make one change here to show you 
how to do it. Drop that, click the save map, exit out, go back in, and verify that your change was saved. So you want to save that file, go to file, save selected file. You can name it whatever you want. We'll just do 300 video test. Save. Now, if you want to flash the ECU, you can use the editor to flash to. Just go ECU operations, flash ECU data. Again, it prompts you to hook up your cables, power up the bike with the alligator clip on your flashing cable. Find my battery connection here. There we go. Click OK. So if you get that error, you can just go back in and try it again. A lot of times, like I didn't cycle my cable from the last time I flashed. So that's probably why I got the error. I'm just going to unplug the cable. Plug it back in, and I'll proceed to try the ECU flash operation again. Yeah, so make sure to make a note of that. I know I forget it all the time. So anytime you flash the bike, if you're doing multiple changes, um, just make sure anytime you're done flashing, unplug the cable, unhook the alligator clip from the battery, and just cycle the power to the bike every time you go to flash. And when it's done, it should prompt you with a successful message. And you're good to go. Hey everyone, we're just going to run through a few more scenarios with the Silver Turbo Editor. Again, I'm going to be working with the same 300 2020 TPI bike. So I'm going to go open the file. And we're just going to make a simple change. Again, we'll do it to one of the limiters. Let's go. 11,500, click save, and I like to just verify the save was made, and now we're going to save the file in a shareable, that way, again, if you want to take your map, send it to a buddy that has the software in the cable, they would be able to open this map and make changes to it. So again, file, share selected file. We'll just do video test share, save it. Just has a pop-up telling you where it's saved on the PC. So if you actually wanna share this map with someone, you would have to go and email it to them, put it on a flash drive, give it to them, whatever. So. So now let's go back in. Let's open that shareable file. So here it is. And let's just verify. It was the limiter. There it is. So again, the next user or yourself, you could go and do your own changes on top of an already edited map. Save it, flash it as many times as you'd like, share it with the community, do whatever you want with your maps. So again, if you want to share maps, but have them encrypted so no one else can open them, you would want to use the export for dealer function. That's going to save it in an encrypted format where no one else can open your map and see the changes you made. So pretty powerful tool. We're very excited about this new software for the TPI bikes. and. Hope everyone enjoys. If you have any questions, again, 
email, call, text, um, do whatever you got to do. We're really excited about this, and it's going to be basically the most powerful tool on the market for these bikes, especially people doing different exhaust heads, intake modifications, whatever. This is a pretty awesome platform right now. So again, thanks for watching our videos, and have a great day. Okay, this demonstration, we're going to show you how to use the Silver Turbo V2 flashing app on a KTM. I switched to a 2019 250 this time. So once you have the app downloaded on your computer and it activated with the payment ID code, a license requested, you'd go click show available models. You can see my computer has a bunch of different stuff added to it. Um, as I use it for testing. So go and find your year, make and model of the bike you're working with. So this will allow you to flash the stock map or any of our performance maps. Right now, we just have our overall map loaded on the software. Within the next few days, we'll have it change. It'll say like Enduro map or all around map or MX map. So you'll have the selection of all three. Um, so just quick demonstration, select which file and map you want to flash, right click on it, and then download and flash file. When you click that, it's going to prompt you to hook up the cables to the computer, to the bike, and then hook the jumper power up to the 12 volt battery and then proceed, click OK. And the app will start flashing the ECU. So the V2 flashing app, again, is used if you want to use or flash any of our pre-made maps that we offer. And also, if you're doing map sharing using the editor, you can go in and use the V2 to flash um, maps that you share with, um, you know, different users or customers as well. So I can go ahead and demonstrate that for you, how you would do that. So when the ECU is done flashing, it'll prompt you again saying the flash was successful. Click OK. And the bike is ready to run. So I'm just going to cycle the cables again. We'll do a demonstration on how to flash a map that you would share with a customer. So just click the bike you're going to flash. When you right click, you'll want to do flash master file. And then from there, you would go and find the map that you shared or saved to your PC and then select one of those, click open, and it'll proceed to flash it. So I'm actually not going to flash one of those as I don't have one saved on this PC right now, but that's a function you use. Again, select your make and model, right click, and flash master file. So that'll give you the pop-up to find the mile or the file or map that's saved on your PC. Click on it, open, which will proceed to flashing it. So again, pretty powerful tool for these new TPI bikes. If you have any questions, give us a ring. Thank you.